This is Marvel Universe Havoc, um, one of my all-time favorite uh, X-Men. Um, he is part of Wave 3 of the uh, Marvel Universe Hammer Files, uh, Wave 8 overall. Uh, he comes with a nice uh, trading card with a, uh, a decent pose. Um, it has a bio at the back, very nice artwork. Uh, also comes with a memo uh, from uh, Victoria Hand to Osborne. Uh, he tells Norman that uh, we can probably use Havoc, we can turn him to our cause and put him, uh, pit him against the other X-Men to control the mutants as long as we keep him away from his brother uh, Scott Summers, which everyone knows is uh, Cyclops. Um, figure also comes with a... Uh, uh, a blue energy signature which is really a repainted translucent plastic blast from the uh, Iron Man figures they've turned it blue um, it's got a great artwork it says fans choice winner this is actually uh, number three fans choice winner number three for the Marvel Marvel Universe uh, survey and here's the rest of the assortment uh, uh, this is a costume at a time when uh, Havoc or Alex Summers goes off world and leads a band of, or his teammates are a band of mutants to uh, go against Vulcan, which I'm sure all of you already know is also related to both him and Scott. So here he is with the Juggernaut. Nothing can stop the Juggernaut, not even Havoc, uh, who's also incidentally part of the same wave as Havoc. Um, so there. Uh, the figure is essentially. Um, just a repaint of the Spider-Man uh, body. Um, it's uh, it's exactly the same body mold, uh, just different paint and different head sculpt. Uh, he does not come with this yellow energy blast. I, I took this one off a well a comic series Iron Man figure because I I really didn't think the uh, the blue funnel energy thingy would work well on him. I, I tried it, it just doesn't work um, as, as much as this one does. This one is pretty cool. Uh, I like yellow, I like the yellow energy signature on him. If I can find a, a better blue energy signature, I probably will, but I'll put it on him. But until now, the energy blast is, is, is pretty cool. I don't <laughs> usually use a lot of the energy blast on my Iron Man figure, so you can also get another one and uh, you can pose him with uh, with the two energy signatures, which is not bad, I think. If you can manage to have uh, his hand hold both, because hands are pretty small. I mean, these are Spider-Man's uh, fists, so yeah, I don't think this one is gonna hold. Uh, something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'll leave that to the side. Uh, it's a great figure. Uh, a lot of fans have been complaining about him. Uh, him being just a repaint and you don't really get much except the new head sculpt. I, I tend to disagree. I mean, the, the main reason you buy this figure is really for the novelty or the, uh, the character itself and all the equity he brings along with him. And, and also you get a very, very decent uh, paint scheme, a paint job. Uh, let me just give you a closer look on this guy. Um, I've, I've had no problems with all the figures I've seen on, on the pegs. Um, most, if not all, have spot-on, uh, perfect, little quality issues uh, on the paint apps that they have him. Um, bit of, if, if ever there'd be an issue, is is the belt, the painted-on belt. Sometimes the X is, is, is skewed to the left or right. It's not really as perfect as it should be, but other than that, Great, great job on the paint scheme, uh, Hasbro. So, very nice. If you're a big fan of the X-Men, big fan of Havoc, I definitely recommend you get this guy. Um, he's number, number 18 on the Hammer Files. So there you have it, Marvel Universe Havoc. Thanks for watching.